In this figure, we are given a circle center O, with AB, as the diameter. And in the circle, are two line segments, CD, and CE, of length 5 and 8 units, that intersect at point C on the diameter. If angle ACD, is equal to 60 degrees, and angle ECB, is equal to 60 degrees. Find the radius of the circle. Note that. This diagram is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let's draw a straight line from D to O, and another line from E to O. Observe that. OD, is equal to OE. Reason. Both are radii of the circle. So, if we take OD, to be X, OE, will also be X. And let OC, be Y. Next, let's focus on triangle DCO. In triangle DCO, angle DCO, is equal to 60 degrees plus 60 degrees, which is equal to 120 degrees. Reason. The sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. Now, from cosine rule, OD squared is equal to CD squared plus OC squared minus 2 times CD times OC times cos 120 degrees. OD is equal to X. CD is equal to 5. OC is equal to Y. And cos 120 degrees is equal to minus 1 over 2. Substituting these values in the above formula will give us X squared is equal to 5 squared plus Y squared minus 2 times 5 times Y times minus 1 over 2. Simplifying these will give us x squared is equal to 25 plus y squared plus 5y. Let's call this equation 1. Next, let's focus on triangle ECO. In triangle ECO, angle ECO is equal to 60 degrees. Also, from cosine rule, OE squared is equal to CE squared plus OC squared minus 2 times CE times OC times cos 60 degrees. OE is equal to X. CE is equal to 8. OC is equal to Y. And cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. Substituting these values in the above formula will give us x squared is equal to 8 squared plus y squared minus 2 times 8 times y times 1 over 2. Simplifying these will give us x squared is equal to 64 plus y squared minus 8y. Let's call this equation 2. Going further, let's observe that. The left side of equation 1 and 2 are equal. Therefore, we can say that 25 plus y squared plus 5y is equal to 64 plus y squared minus 8y. Next, let's collect like terms. Doing so will give us 5y plus 8y is equal to 64 minus 25 plus y squared minus y squared. 5y plus 8y is equal to 13y. 64 minus 25 is equal to 39. And y squared minus y squared is equal to 0. So, we are left with 13y is equal to 39. 
dividing through by 13. will give us y, is equal to 3. Next, to find x, let's substitute y with 3, in either equation 1 or equation 2. In this video we are going to substitute y with 3 in equation 1. Doing so will give us x squared, is equal to 25 plus 3 squared, plus 5 times 3. Simplifying the right side will give us 25, plus 9, plus 15, which is equal to 49. So, x squared, is equal to 49. Taking the square root of both sides will give us, x, is equal to 7. Hence, the radius of the circle is 7 units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.